I'm Fenton. This is Leanne. Uh, Hannah's the eldest. She's 11. Sophie is 7. And Neve is 4, very nearly 5. Um, yeah, it was very exciting. It's like, wow, we're going to have a baby. And, uh, you know, um, I guess neither of us knew what to, what to expect. So every, every, every step was something new and exciting. And uh, we started going to uh, the, uh, the, the classes, <laughs> but never got, to, never got to finish them. So, um, so someone someone decided they were going to come a little bit a little bit early a little bit premature. <laughs> she was diagnosed at three weeks. They do a scan on um, on preemie babies. They do a head scan, and um, it was picked up on the head scan that there was a problem. But um, they told us she'd never walk, talk, or be able to feed herself. So. Everything's, and she hasn't stopped talking since she was 18 uh -huh. months old, so <laughs> they got it wrong. Yeah. And I don't plan to stop, so... <laughs> that can be a tad frustrating because sometimes they can do things that no matter how hard I try, I positively can't do. So that's a little hard, but I still have friends who stick by me and try to include me and stuff, so that's good. It does. Um, it still upsets me because she can't do what other kids can do and I see her get upset by that and that breaks my heart that that upsets her so much and I'd love to be able to fix that for her but I can't. And it's like Finton said, when you see her in pain, you, you can't do anything. You do as much as you can but you can't take it away and I can't take her disability away. and. That's all there is to it. So there are days when I get upset and frustrated because I see her so upset and I can't fix it. Very proud, very proud. She's come a long way. It's not been an easy road for anyone, but she's done it pretty tough. And um, I think Hannah's sort of developing a little bit more resilience now and is able to handle things a little bit, a little bit better. It's a big thing for a child to um, realise they're different and realise that they can't do all the things that other kids can do and sometimes that can be hard to handle. Um, and as Hannah gets older she's getting much better at it and um, just tries to do the best that she can, um, which is great because you, know, you just want her to do the best that, that she can do. And, I say to her all the time, your legs aren't going to stop you doing anything. You might not win a 100 metre Olympic sprint, but my legs are fine and I'm not going to do that either. So <laughs> it's not something to worry about. You just think about the things that you can do and you try and do them the best you can. And it won't, it won't stop her. She can do anything she wants in life. She can be anything she wants.